Hello everybody, this is Joan from Macau Rotoscopy Movies. I'm in a hotel now in Macau. As you can see behind me, right here, right here you can see it's the MGM logo in Chinese. You can see here, right there behind, right there behind me. And um, and yeah, we, we, we're, we're in this, we're in this hotel now where I'm gonna shoot some locations for my next film, which which is a, a drama. Which at first it was intended to be a drama. With me and Lily, but now things have gone a bit up and down with our our co-work. We have we had little differences with the film we're working on, an environmental movie, and uh, it took too long to film, and I just gave up and just told her I shoot just two scenes, then I'm done. So yeah, we shot some scenes uh, at the Parisian here in Macau, uh, in Taipa. So we shot some scenes that looks like Paris, but it's not actually Paris. It's 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 just the building that looks like the Eiffel Tower. Then, then we filmed uh, another scene which looks like London. We just it's just uh, environmental stuff. Like uh, if you throw your trash, we pick it up basically, and just you know uh, think about the environment. So good idea on the heart, but the execution right now um, I was not satisfied with it. So I just shot a few scenes and I said. The rest's up to you. I will not editing the whole thing. I'll give all the scenes to you. You can do whatever you want with it to them. We said fair enough, but we're friends, you know. We shake hand, and you know, and uh, so. But now I'm on my own working my films now. So now, but still, I have Angela Lau from Angel Skies who have helped me out, and um, and what I this is why I love Macau very much because people here who worked uh, in restaurants and. Uh, Industries have helped me out to try to do, help me. You know, they they know I, I made movies for my cow. And last year, no, not last year. Uh, yeah, last year, but next year it won't be last year. Uh, like in 2023, in Benevento, Italy, we finished fourth place uh, of 15 feature films with Return to Earth, and um, which is pretty good for. A small, a small place like Macau, which is one nation, two system with China, or Macau S A R China, as you know. The movie I'm working on now is called Macau, My Heart, My Home, which is about uh, a, a guy who lived around here in the casino areas in Taipa, and then he decided just he had enough, and then he walked by, and he will see, uh, he will see uh, the real Macau. He will first find. Uh, uh, old places, old villages made by Portuguese colony. Then he traveled around the Taipa, the, the small area in Taipa, the village. And then he's also in the peninsula, which I filmed with Angela, with Angela Lau. And then uh, later he will also go small pit, which we, I only, sorry, this is, this is, this is, I'm really regretting now that I only filmed a few things there in, in Kolar, just near Koloan, which is um, a temple there, Chinese temple and the, the Ama. But the, the village in Taipei, I thought it was enough uh, just to show what most people are missing when they come here. I mean, I could have taken the ruins of St. Paul and the World Heritage, but I think many people know about them. So I wanted to pick something that people didn't know much about, especially in Taipei, because here they're building like crazy, like a Galaxy, Galaxy Casino, sorry, Galaxy Hotel. They're building another, another, another. I mean, I was walking by uh, and there was a big, huge hotel, like, almost in gold and then suddenly just one or two weeks later another hotel huge with gold and right now as far as i know yesterday you know i saw two more buildings by galaxy is getting built up again and it's like what the f sorry i almost cursed that i didn't mean to do that and uh i find it very con i'm sorry but i don't like it i don't like it because for me that's not my cow Macau has so much beauty. It's a beautiful place, you know. Uh, the lake is beautiful. The, the the old buildings from from Portugal, it's very beautiful. And even Chinese buildings here is very beautiful too. There's, there's a lot of things from China and Portugal that's really beautiful here that you should see, you know. And um, this is why I'm making this movie now called Macau, My Heart, My Home. It's about uh, showing, it's a tribute to Macau. Plus, also, I would do a special thanks to some some place I've been filming and thank them for helping me out. Uh, even though it won't, will be a short film because I didn't have enough material to work as a feature film, but maybe someday I will. And it, yes, it will definitely be here in Macau because I I, I I love Macau. I love Macau. In case you haven't noticed, 
<laughs> you know, and I'm very thankful for Macau as well. I mean, everything started during the lockdown, the, during the coronavirus. And uh, I was locked down in my home and a team, a young boys in Macau asked me to make a movie with them. They had an idea of some rotoscoping stuff or some AI rotoscoping stuff. Uh, I think we we're the first short film, maybe, maybe I'm just over exaggerating now, but I think we we're one of the first who released a movie with kind of an AI animation, uh, <clears throat> which is um, uh, not so strong yet because, is, because you can still see my face in the animation and so on and so on. <clears throat> but I agreed, I agreed. And then I asked, who's the director? They said, we don't have a director. I said, no director, huh? Okay, what's the name of the company? No company. So we, we're working independently. Okay then, so I became the director, writer, and then, because we thought, okay, we gotta make a several movies with AI rotoscoping, you know, and uh, make several movies like that, uh, if we can make it better. Like The Edge of Human, my second film was supposed to be rotoscoping, and even Secret of Atlantis, and even Return to was supposed to be rotoscoping at first. We always gotta work on the second film. The, the this machine they had, or the project, the thing they had, it crashed. It crashed because they updated it and it didn't work. So it looked awful. So we decided, screw it. Let's not do any rotoscoping. Let's just uh, do the FMV style, like the old video games from the 90s when they put actors in a blue screen, green screen, and then just... Uh, acting in a cutscene and then the game will start and or whatever uh, but in this case we don't have any game we just make a movie like the cutscenes from video games and uh, is someone knocking on my door? I hope not because it's late at night now anyway so so I, that was the I, that was my vision to do this because we still can't go to the studios I still I still can't uh, film around Macau and uh, we we Basically, we're just in a green screen or green curtain screen or blue curtain screen. Depends on where you were filming yourself. We were filming each other uh, one by one. And uh, that's the only way we could do it. And that's it. You know, the rest is history. Uh, then I continued doing this movie like The Age of Human. But then came Return to Earth and that was that was the hit point, you know. That that was that that's when I became one hundred percent Forza Macau. Uh, because uh, we had we had so many people there involved everywhere and and we made it look even even more like a feature film and became a feature film too, even though the movies were like like fifty minutes long, but it was enough to be uh, to be uh, nominated for a feature film in Italy in this World Cup of movies and we finished fourth place. It was like, like hallelujah! I did not expect that, you know. And and in Italy too, we have a lot of culture, theater, movies, etc., etc. It was really cool. It was really cool to be going, coming that far with with Macau, you know. And yeah, so uh, looking outside of Macau now, I, I really love this place. I really love Macau, you know, really much. And uh, look at this beautiful places of Macau, the real Macau. Oh, oh my God, this, this, this place is so beautiful, I'm telling you. And this is what I'm hoping I'm going to do now with this movie. I sincerely hope uh, that I can make people come here, you know, not for the casinos, not for playing, but for just enjoy the real beauty like Macau can offer you. This is a, this is a good place, you know. I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of Macau, you know. I'm proud of... I'm proud of representing it uh, twice in the final, and I'm very proud we did well in the last time. First time, I was proud that we were actually the first movie that had Macau in the World Cup of, in the World Cup of movies. I mean, and uh, yeah, and now when I've been doing my own uh, filming everywhere with the people and everything, uh, I am more and more and more and more happy i'm more happy and uh, macau god bless you until next time <laughs>